In this problem, we want to find the probability that all prize winners are men. We've got 30 people total, 12 men, 18 women, and there are five prizes to be awarded. So to find the probability that all men win the prizes, we're going to calculate the number of ways to choose five men and we'll divide that by the number of ways to choose five people. In this case, the order is not important because the prizes are all the same. So it's not as if there were a first prize, second prize, third prize, where particular prizes um, being awarded to different individuals would make a different outcome. So if Jerry wins a prize and Steve wins a prize, it doesn't matter in what order they win because they're getting the same thing. So how many ways are there to choose five men? Well, there's 12 men to choose from. And the order's not important, so we're going to use combinations here. And then we're choosing five of those men. And then how many ways are there to choose five people? Well, there's 30 people. Again, combinations, because the order's not important. And we're choosing five of those. So in order to calculate combinations using your graphing calculator, uh, let's start with the 12C5. So, let me see, I move this up a little bit. So to enter this into the calculator, you would type in 12, press math, and press the left arrow. Um, you may need to press that once or twice to get to PRB at the top. And once you see PRB at the top, then um, for combinations you want to press 3. So you have 3 and CR there. So you're going to either press the number 3 or scroll down and select 3 for NCR. And then enter the number 5 and press enter. And let's see, that will give you 792. Then you have 30C5, you're going to enter that the same way. Um, and for that you get 142,506 and then when you divide this you can just divide that in your calculator and just type in 792 divided by 142,506 and that's what gives you oh, I don't have enough room to fit that let's see oh I can just scoot that over 0 0.0056 and so this would be your final answer. Now in the second part we want to find the probability that at least one prize winner is a woman. So in order to calculate this we want to realize that this is just the opposite of Woman, not women. Um, we want to realize that this is just the opposite of what we just found. So the probability of getting at least one woman is 1 minus the probability of no women. And no women means that they all have to be men. So we just want to calculate 1 minus the probability we just found. And that gives us well, let's see. Point 
0.9944 and that's our final answer for that.